Hi, my name is Marcus Rothkrantz, and I'm coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I'm here generally on this planet, basically, I think, to inspire people, to set them free. I just show people what's possible. I mean, I had all kinds of health problems and I healed myself. I show people how that's possible. Money, conditions, relationships. It would name the thing that frustrates you. I've been there. And when I find out what works, I share it with the world. And it's really exciting when you see other people's lives just blossom and they actually are free of all the things that bothered them because everybody feels like a prisoner. And it's not about just you know, working nine to five in a job. It's not just about doing what society tells you to do. You're here to do what you want to do. That's what I'm here to do is to give you the power, the inspiration to say that you're not, you're not going to lose everything. I mean, you might, but the point is that it, it usually works out for the better if you follow your heart and your dream. And my job is to just show you how wonderful that could really be and what's possible when you listen to your heart. Um, Marcus is a very hard worker and I feel like he had come to this planet with a mission and he never forgets it. He has a high respect for life and for people. He is very sensitive and um, he, he really wants the best for everybody. He definitely wants harmony and he wants everybody to be happy. That's really ultimately what he wants is everybody to be happy. I just like to share experience. If I find something that works, I share it. And it's exciting because what you put out comes back to you. And if you're able to help other people, then they help you back. Out of the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, helps you. And, and so you don't ever lose anything. The more you give up, the more you get back. And it's just this really empowering thing to be able to help other people. And that's part of the prosperity secret is to, to give, to, if you have a secret, share it because, you know, you're here to help. And that's what's going to help the world ultimately is everybody helping each other. So many people have so many negative thoughts about Las Vegas and I've had people ask me, how can you live in Las Vegas? It's such a toxic city. And my response to them is, where else would you need healers? This is a city that requires having some light shown on it. I'm very fortunate to work here at Rainbow's End. It's the oldest health food store in Las Vegas. And we attract so many beautiful people that are working very hard to heal our world. I think one of the things that really excites me about Marcus is my own interest in the longevity movements and all the longevity studies that happen. Um, I see Marcus, he's 50 years old, today is his birthday, happy birthday Marcus. And he looks fabulous and I'm so inspired by him. And, and uh, I'm 55 and I'm getting younger and I think maybe one day I'll catch up with him, I'm trying. Um, he lives such a high energy life, no boundaries. This is all, this is how we're meant to exist here. We're meant to be vibrant and alive and contributing. I started like everybody. See, I always wanted to do the right thing. I never drank, I never smoked, I never did drugs, I never did anything that I bad that I was ever supposed to do. And I was like this good little boy, and I, I made a lot of money when I was, yeah, I worked in Hollywood, I got the wife, I got the house, I got the car, I got all the things that I was supposed to get, but I wasn't happy, and I was dying physically. My body was falling apart. And I said, all these things they told me to do, it's not working, I'm not happy. So I gave it all up, literally. I gave everything up and went to the desert. I literally had my 40 days in the desert. I, I literally took my clothes off and said, I don't care if I die. This is it. I want the truth. When I was in the desert and I was lying on that rock, I did that. I gave up and I said, okay, life, <laughs> if there's something worth living for, let me have it, you know, because I, I, I wasn't happy. Basically, when I came back from the desert, uh, I, was a, I wasn't even the same person anymore. I was, and... I only did what I wanted to do. I said what I felt like. I, I mean, whatever I felt like saying, I said it. And I did what I wanted to do. And I didn't care if I lost anything anymore because I had nothing to lose. When you have nothing to lose is when you get everything. 
And I realized that all these, 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 what these people do is they're spending their whole life going after things, money and relationships and jobs. And the more you go after something, the more you push it away. So what I realize is stop going after it and it comes to you naturally. If it's meant to be, it will come to you. It's not this difficult thing. You don't need special talent. You don't need to know the right people. All you gotta do is be you. How easy is that? This doesn't work. Your job is to be you. That's it. That's your job on this planet is to be you. <laughs> it's, so, it's so unbelievably mind-blowing simple. And that's when you get successful. That's when you, everything starts happening for you. It's when you finally have the courage to say to, to your boss, I hate this job, I'm out of here. It's when you have the courage to say to your, your mate, I don't like this and this and I'm gonna leave unless things change. And when you have the guts to stand up for what you believe in, that's when they start respecting you. And if they don't, then it's your job to move on. Uh, that, it's kind of like, and then you get rewarded. And it's, that's kind of what life is. It's just a bunch of tests. It's just testing you. Do you have the courage to be you? That's it. And once you say, yeah, from this moment on, everything I'm gonna do and say is gonna be what feels right, it's amazing how much power you have. One of the things I love about Marcus is how Marcus just totally accepts where people are. Uh, there's a lot of people that care very much about their appearance. Most important thing to them, they have vanity issues. They don't want to lose weight because they're going to be healthy and they're going to feel, they want to lose weight because they're going to look good and they're going to be sexy. And, and you know, there's so many people with, that would look at that mindset and they would be in judgment and say, oh, this is a bad person, this is a person that hasn't evolved. Marcus looks at that. Instead of making a judgment, he makes an observation. This is where they are, this is what they need, this is what they will respond to. And then he hits the stage like a rock star. He wakes them up. They're ready to hear what he has to say because he's found their level where they are. And without judgment, he's saying, okay, you wanna be sexy, you wanna be beautiful? This is how to do it. The evolution is gonna follow as they get he healthier, as they put healthy food into their bodies, the evolution's gonna come with it. He doesn't require them to be evolved to work with them. It's like, this is where you are, this is where we're gonna start, and he takes it from there. I think one of the best things you can do is help others to make the world a better place, to, you know, to further the evolution of being, of living, and, you know, <clears throat> Like I said, it's like discovering a party where everybody's having fun and you run back to your friends and say, hey, come on over, this is the greatest place you got, you gotta check this out, you know? And then you're like the hero because you brought the friends who are down up to a party where they feel up, you know? And, and so I feel like I found a party and I want people to join and have fun, you know? That, that's kind of, part, part, a party's kind of boring if you're alone, you know? And you want other people around you to have fun too and share it. That's what it's about.